folks, I'm Rosie. Welcome to Covers Done Quick, a series where I pull a random cover out of the hat and I've got 60 minutes to try and put it onto the hand pans. Normally I use my hand pans, today I'm going to try something a little bit different, I'm going to try and put it onto the rags. We'll see how well it'll work, a uh, slightly like different set of notes, but hopefully we'll do okay with it. Hmm, that's to be luck. Today's cover done quick is... Celine Dion, my heart will go on. <laughs> So normally I use my hand pans that are tuned in E major, but here I wanted to try something a little bit different. Rabs are a type of tongue pan, but they're kind of similar to hand pan in that they're on your lap, made of metal, and you hit them. Uh, and they've normally got a sort of similar note layout, but they are different instruments. They've got a really different sound, much longer sustain, um, and very different tonal quality. So I'm excited to dive in, give this a go. As I say, this is a new one for me, but let's have a try. Anyway, the first thing I do with uh, Covers Done Quick is listen to it. <laughs> Genuine question, is that the most epic key change in any song? Doesn't matter, we won't get to do it. We're in D major no matter what. <laughs> so as I was having a listen through, I was trying to work out what key it is, and I think the original is in E, maybe? Uh, or the version I heard. Uh, but to make it fit on the rag, I've got to make the main note, the, the, the key, uh, in, the D, in D major. It's so much slower than I remember as well. So that will be a fun, not rushing challenge. soaring over the top of the chords, the harmony and the tune, I've got to kind of have them in between, so I'm going to need to use the audience's imagination a little bit more to pick out the right notes. And when I think of the, the, the chords, basically chord one, four and five, like that is a really common progression. But it doesn't sound quite right with the tune. Maybe this is just the interesting thing. So we're going back. But then to have that G underneath, we don't actually really have many of those notes. We're sort of suspending the chord. The tune doesn't always align with the chord. So often when we're playing our chords, our harmony, we think that our tune has to come exactly from the chords that we're playing. So in D major, I might make a chord of only those notes. The tune following that as well. But often in music, we get a little bit more adventurous and we kind of are playing a note that doesn't quite fit into the chord, which can be called a suspension. So listen out for that really clashy C sharp up to D on the third chord. Flavor of it. And 
the second time through, I might put a little bit more movement in the accompaniment. So a piano can sit down and press all <laughs> ten notes maybe at the same time, or probably only you know three or four notes per hand. Unless you're using the thing, it's quite hard to play more than two notes with a hand. <laughs> you need very large hands. Maybe some people have them. Um, so generally, to get a chord, I have to do movement. So if I want to play D major, because the notes last so long, they sustain for so long, by playing them one after another, kind of gives the opinion. That arpeggio sort of turns into a chord for your ears. This song built, oh my gosh, I think <laughs> I'm already getting excited, but I might I might bring like a shaker and like a frame drum and stuff into my final recording because it's got this kind of constantly building feeling, uh, which can be fun. So I might do that. So let's look at the next bit. Between this one and this note and this is a, a, an issue because the the rav the d major rav doesn't have a g the note would sit right here it's got a low g but it's not got a high g so we, if we need that note we have the question how to get that note so you can do a harmonic where i'm muting a lot of the other tones to try and make it sound high normally it sounds like this but i need to do I'm lucky enough to have two. So if the notes up here, now once I've realised that I've got this kind of motion up at the top, hello. Sorry. <laughs> okay, go for it. between the two hand bands, just by chance, uh, I realised that a lot more covers were going to be open to me because I could put the tune up at the top, which is what inspired me to give this one a go. Uh, and I think it's going to be great because I get to use this G that I need up here. Pause as I try 
trying to remember what note or chord comes back next. So it's just always thinking through, through, through. It's got this real motion. It doesn't stop, it doesn't stop, it doesn't land until it's done. And it's got such a nice octave jump. I'm really lucky to have these two A's. <laughs> slightly different instrument with a layout that's slightly different and it's fun but moving across the different notes takes a real really forward thinking so I'm gonna be a little bit boring and just practice played a few of them. Because the sustain is so long, it does wash on. So after the first chorus, the drum kit comes in. Zoop! Get to burn up! Get to burn up! I just wrote kit. <laughs> drum kit. Um, so here's where we get to kind of emulate the drum stuff on the on the hands. I want a sense of elevation to start to get a little bit of ghost notes going. I definitely can 
I'm not doing is the slides between notes that the flautist does. I don't know how to do that. I don't think that's possible on a percussion instrument. Prove me wrong in the comments. Um, so I won't be doing that. But how can I play more like a flute? This this music, this kind of folk idea that we're going for is kind of slightly arrhythmic. It's got these kind of melismas or these ornaments onto the notes, which I might try and replicate. Okay. <laughs> so we spent a lot of time in percussion trying to get our hands doing the same thing as each other and our beats coming out really evenly. But for this little intro, to try and make it different. I'm gonna sort of rush and pull, so excuse me, sort of rubato and sort of accents to try and make it sound more like a flute player is fluting it.
still doesn't feel as rooted, and that's to do with the inversion or which way up the chord is sitting. So final. The main things to remember is to just go through slowly. Firstly, sing the tune. You've got to have it in your head before you can try and get it on any instrument. Then just work out the melody. The next step is to work out the chords. You could do that by listening uh, or by using a piano, but you can also do that online. Let someone else do the hard work for you. I'll put all the chords in this video so you can have a go at this one to start yourself off. And then just try and put them together. Nice, slow practice till you've got the whole song. I'll probably just cover up uh, and record it and release it in a few days, hopefully with a bit of shaker and stuff. But this is it. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for new videos every week, hand pan, covers, whatever you like. Thanks for watching! <laughs>